first one to Pippa again. Um, I'm not alone, Molly's behind the camera. <laughs> um, we've tried to undo the bolts that are securing this pump in so we can take it away and repair this broken section. Um, but I can't get to both sides of the nuts because some have been buried in the concrete. Uh, so I'm, gonna, I'm just going to take it out. And there's a this here with the two inches of rubbish holding this into the floor. So I'm going to try and jackhammer and remove the, the entire, the old pad that it sat on that they put in and get down to a better surface so when we concrete it, it should be alright. So, uh, noise alert. Obviously I've not got muffs on because I've done this for donkey's years and I'm deaf as a post anyway. <laughs> right. There you go, and that's why I'm, that's why I'm removing it because Let's, uh, <clears throat> yeah, that's heavy, very heavy. Right, well now we can take this up to the house. Pump. This is the pump that we've brought up to the house now, and I want to show you me repairing it. This is the part that's broken, and being, uh, being the fact that it's uh, cast iron, it's not very easy to repair, so I've got a lot of work ahead of me today to get this to, to be strong enough to withstand the rest of the tubing that, that all sits on top of this, and basically this takes all the weight of all the tubing and the big fittings and the, and the taps. So what I'm going to do today is remove this front section. I've already partly removed some of the bolts. I'm going to show you some close-ups in a second, but the thing's extremely heavy. I've got the impeller blade in here, which runs very close to the crack, so I've got a lot of preparation and cleaning up to do before, uh, before I can get on with it. Right, well, let's get you in a better position and I'll start doing some more work to it. There's the crack, and what I've got to do is, is open it up into a V, so I fill the V up with weld you can't just weld this along here like you can with most steel, mild steel, because it will just break. And now you can see a closer shot, I mean that's the, the edge of the impeller there. So it's going to be tight when it comes around this valve here, which is normally where the air comes out, you bleed the system. So let's see how we get on, eh? are extremely vicious tips for the grinder. I don't know if you can see this. That's a bolt hole right through the middle of the fracture. So I'm gonna have to be a bit careful when I weld around that. But I'm confident we can do it. I've got taps and dies here and these these bolts need uh, replacing anyway they're not great the threads are all slightly corroded i think it's been apart a few times in the past because it's got a, a modern sealant in it so let's see if we can get this thing 100 percent repaired today i've got to grind this out like i said to a v <clears throat> and we'll see how we get on with it i'm actually tempted to take this out so let's go and take this off this plate i don't want to damage this it's a lot it's a lot thinner I would like to thank one of my friends in the village that's lent me his gas torch, which hmm, looks like I might need to do that clamp up a bit. That doesn't look good. No, that doesn't look good. Right, let's fix that for him before we start. Just need to get it to expand a tiny little bit, because that's probably got a nice rust joint in there, where the two steels have 
two metals rather have stuck together. There's a keyway in here, which is a tiny little square peg which stops this spinning on the shafts, and I'm hopefully going to utilise that to get this uh, get this in there. Right, well I've tried my very best to get this out, and I'm not going to risk breaking either this or fracturing something else in here. It's just not worth it. I'm going to carry on welding. Oh, the weld's not going to penetrate in there. There's only about a centimetre. It's not going to make any difference. This thing's either going to work or it's not. I'm going to start veeing out these angles now so when the weld goes in it, it penetrates at least three quarters of the way inside it. So, a bit of noise and some sparks now. It. You see where I'm veeing out. I've only done the, the pump part, not the loose part. I'm wondering if that's going to focus in the light there. You can see I'm veeing it out on this side, but this side I'm going to do next. I've removed most of the rust from the inner edge, but I'm not going to go too far with it because I'm trying to avoid this. So let's do the other part and then we'll come back to you. There and there is the original thickness of the steel and you can see where I'm taking this back. Right, so hopefully you can see how much I've veed that out. I'll be very careful around this bolt hole because I'm going to have to re-tap that so I'm going to just lightly go onto the edge with the weld there. So, as with everything, preparation is nearly everything. I'm just checking everything lines up as it should do, especially this bolt hole. Um, and now we're about left to reheat it. I've got to reheat this to some serious temperatures before I can start stick welding cast iron. If it was normal steel, I wouldn't have to preheat it, but... So I've got a friend, I was just saying, I've got a friend in the village who's given me some special black welding tips that are uh, specially for cast yeah. iron. They've He's given me a, a very nice gift and I appreciate, appreciate it very much. Um, after the fire came, he also helped us out a lot with uh, giving me a lot of things and I, I really do appreciate it. Alright, time to heat this up. Guess what I've just found with the heat? Another crack. There's a fracture there. So we'll be that out when we've welded this. It might well move with the welding, so... It's important to get this hot so there's not a shock on that crack. on the earth on here. I've just started cleaning up the welds and I remembered you guys will want to see it. Welding cast iron is extremely hard and doesn't leave you with a very pretty looking weld. Like in there. But it'll be alright. Give it a quick clean up and then we're going to put it back together. Alright, well after that clean out all the 
thread holes because the uh, the bolts themselves look pretty pretty terrible. So try and find out what thread they've got. Clean the threads out now. Some, uh, it's like WD-40. But this tube's got a bend in it, which I've left in it because I thought it might actually help me, and I think it might. 